Sask. Hey there. Hi. How's it going? All right. Excellent. Quick question. When I add a witness to a file that's already gone to Crown Counsel, you still add them as a witness, but you n now do I have to go for PCR 202? Oh. With that witness info? I, I don't think so. I think the statement goes as a hard copy, but you just add them. But it only goes once. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You still you add them, and then I have to do a 202, wouldn't I? Maybe yeah, I, I think you're going to have to. Okay. Because yeah, they only get the electronic submission once. That's what I thought. Okay. okay. Well, so you read my email about that cell thing? Yeah. Are you are you are you joking me or are you serious? No, I, I'm serious. <laughs> it is serious, but you just implicated about six of us into an internal complaint. You realize? Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't know who was involved. Well, I was down there and saw it, but there was probably three or four members and three city staff, and it was already going on. And I'm like, in hindsight, yeah, I probably should have stopped it, but it was basically ending as we were down there. Okay. So uh, Were you aware of this HIV positive thing? No, that because that, they walked her, I helped her book her in an hour earlier, and they just she was screaming and yelling. They didn't even, they bypassed the front counter, period. Yeah, and that's that's the only part that I have uh, concerns about. Is and that's the only thing other members because that was the talk when I came over here this morning and I said yeah I said I, I heard them, I heard a member talking about it when I came off night shift and they said she was HIV positive. That that see that wasn't clear to me so yeah I didn't know that and yeah. I didn't know the other one but yeah I just because yeah. I hear I'm sitting here thinking that because of the. Uh, it was a turnaround before your streamers. What's that? Your streamers? Oh no, God no, no no. It's uh, no. The guys had heard about it over here, and the fact that she was. Um, someone mentioned to me that she had uh, admitted she was HIV positive. Told self when she came in that she was HIV positive. No. Which, and, that's, and that's why I said it. Because she. The first one? I don't know which one it is. Oh, I don't know, because the first one came in, there was no way that happened, because she was kicking and fighting and screaming. And her yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember hearing her on the radio, but she's the one who apparently is uh, HIV positive. She's not flagged, is that on CPIC? No, no, she's not. And um, and so the guys were kind of up in arms about it, and I said, yeah, I said, I heard about it too, but to be honest with you, it totally left my mind. I said, but you're right, if it's happened, it's it should be taken a little bit further because if she is HIV positive and now this other girl is, I said, it's one thing to joke about, you know, a couple ha-ha being together, but if she's HIV positive, I well, the, the, the can the, of worms. Well the, well, the can of worms will be open because what will happen is that they'll pull a video, see the members there, nothing happens. So they've ended up in cells together, and I think by policy they're not supposed to be anybody infectious with anybody. Mm -hmm. supposed to be lodged alone, which they weren't. And that's that's why I said I'm not quite sure. I haven't reviewed the video. I haven't done anything with it because um, <clears throat> it opens up a can of worms, right? Like, yeah. So anyway, oh, I, don't, I don't know if I get off duty off duty winter for the internal that's going to come for not doing anything about it. Two or three out of the guys that were working that night, and two guards, and uh, and a uh, watch clerk. All day I'm watching that. Well, they all saw it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I just heard there were two down there because one of them, well, two of them were, were laughing about it. No, but then the other, then even prior, prior to that is what are we doing lodging them together anyway when they shouldn't have been. Even mm -hmm. prior to all that, if, wow. if they're infectious because they're not supposed to be, which I had no idea. Yeah. And, and, and I don't know where that came from because it was it never came up when she was lodged. Well, like I say, one of the members just uh, mentioned it to me uh, before I left. In the morning, um, I I totally forgot it. So and then we and then we and then we left them in there anyway when we all left. Mhm. Mm and they shouldn't have been. Well, uh, that's I think that's the minor part of it. I think the the only concern is the the HIV. That's the only part that I'm. I mean, if that happens, I mean, people fool around, and if it's one thing that he hawed about that, but if she's HIV positive and said that, and I said that that will have to be confirmed. How do we confirm that? Well, if uh, she indicated that, it should be on her C-13. It's it's on the C-13, mm -hmm. um, and that's only, it's not on C-PIC, <clears throat> which means yeah. the only way that goes there is she's self-proclaimed. Yeah. Uh, and that didn't happen when she got booked in. Okay, 
Okay, why did that member say if she had? Hmm. Okay. And then why are we booking them in together anyway? If one's proclaimed, we're not supposed to. No, no, I know. So the, the whole fall down is right from the beginning. Mm-hmm. So. Well. Interesting. Well, sorry about that. I, I can pull it back because Wes is on vacation. He's on vacation until the 10th. Or, sorry, for 10 days or whatever. So yeah. probably, probably well, the beginning of September. Well, I'll, I'll just pull it back. I mean, check the C-13. Well, it's on the C-13. I went and looked. Does she is HIV? It's well. It's just checked off. It doesn't say. It doesn't say where that comes from. It's not on CPIC. Yeah, self-proclaimed is what uh, the member told me. Yeah, but when? Because when she when she came in, apparently. Which one was that that came in? Who? It, well, there was two of them, obviously. Yeah, I thought it was Carla. So it was. No, there's no way because I was there when she got booked in. Or maybe on well on route. I have no idea, because it wasn't while we were there fighting with it. No, she just howled and screamed the whole time there. Yeah, I don't know. You might want to wait until you can confirm that with Carla, because stuff on the C-13 shows up. That she is HIV? Well, I was there, but that, I mean, we unless it's on CPIC or they self-proclaim it. But I was there when she, from the cell block into the cells, and she, there was no there was no warning other members dealing with her, fighting mm -hmm. with her. And there was no self-proclamation of diseases then. Yeah. Nothing from the ride? I, well, I don't know, because she got bo what happened when we finished fighting with her and then uh, locked her up in the cells, and then and then we left. She was booked in, but uh, Carla would have stayed and done the paperwork. But it was it was all electronic. It was an electronic check. It wasn't a handwritten check. Mm -hmm. So I, the guard did it. Yeah. So I don't know where he got that from. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm just, just going by what was told me and the guys here were kind of upset about it this morning. So, <clears throat> so anyway, <clears throat> hmm? I don't know how you confirm that. Ask her. Yeah. Hmm? But, yeah, that's, a, that's an issue for sure, the HIV. Well, I, I didn't know it. Well, we do it all the time, but there's not, I'm asking Beverage here, we're not supposed to have infections. You're supposed to be lodged alone, period. Yeah. Yeah, and Steve put the other girl in because the guard said that they were full and had nowhere else for her. And and how would Leadbeater know? Well, he would read the C-13. Well, I never read anyone else's C-13 well, when did I put them see, in. <laughs> did you see the can of worms? Oh, I know, but I mean, yeah, it is a can of worms. Who was the guard? Uh, for there was two. Huh? I forget who it was, but there was two. Hmm. But I mean, that's that's got to be up to well, it's gonna, ultimately it's going to come to me and the members booking them in. So yeah, and, and it's, well, I, I still think it's, it's got it's certainly got to be looked into. That's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, if you want the incident looked into, well, I'm, I won't. Then someone else is going to have to. But yeah. automatically, there's, with the appetite here, there's going to be an internal. So right away it'll be. Ugh. There'll be two guards, an ME, two, three, three MEs, three, four members. So, and then the, the peripheral members, when they, you know, which is not as serious as them being booked in without, you know, confirming. You know, uh. you know, see where I'm going? Yeah, there's the incident itself, but then there's the stuff around it too. So. Unless it's reworded, you know, what's the policy on, you know, booking infectious prisoners, I don't know. But still, how do I get around saying that this is what's supposedly happened and we have an obligation well, to report th this? Report to who? To the other girl. You know. That was in there fooling around with her. She's in cells with this infectious person and now engaged in a sexual... Um, relations with her. Mm -hmm. I think that's who has to be informed if she is indeed HIV positive. Making, you know, I don't know. And that's the thing. How do you confirm it? Oh. You know, how many times has John said yes, she is, and no, she isn't? Yeah, but still, we have to go as if yes, they are. Huh. Well. <laughs> I didn't mean to open up a can of worms and get people. I didn't realize there were so many people down there. Did you? Well, I, I didn't know who was down there, to be honest with you. I knew two, and that was it. 
No, I was there, and then uh, no, yeah. I, d- I didn't know you were there. I didn't know uh, there were two guards. I didn't know there was another municipal employee who I'm assuming is Rick Beveridge. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. And in retrospect, you're right. You know, it shouldn't have happened, but it was already basically uh-huh. we were done by the time we looked. So, I mean, it was going on. I don't know. Mm-hmm. There was three, maybe. I can't remember how many members. Well, if you didn't include me, there's three. So there's probably three or four members along the two guards. Oh, so. for God's sakes. <laughs> We're our own worst enemies. Oh, yeah. So, but I mean, that happens. That happens. And you're right. It needs to be reiterated. But the problem is, well, whatever it's a problem or not, is that, is that yes, it needs to be addressed, but... The whole issue of putting infectious people in cells needs to be, you know. Yeah. But the incident itself is going to. It's it's going to have to be investigated. I mean, as to whether or not she is HIV positive and is this other girl at risk now. Because, I mean, I think the window of opportunity with regards to the cocktail is is probably passed now, too. It should have been the last block. Yeah. She was released. They see that's that's more of that, more of the can of worms. Yeah. Why didn't we act on it then? Yeah, and, you know, something that totally, uh, and I'll be the first to admit, yes, I I heard it, and um, and I left. I, I completely forgot about it. I was helping camp with this sexual interference, and I went on home, and I never gave it a thought until this morning. I had no idea that there was infectious people. Well, there. see, no. there you go. So how can you be faulted there? Well, I'm, <laughs> I watched it on the video, and it doesn't look great. You know, and plus, I'm the, super, I'm the supervisor, right, so... Good Lord. And then, yeah, so, I mean, that yeah, really is what it is. So, But you're right, I mean, we need to, I don't know, how do we know this other girl isn't? Was she ever spoken to? Did Steve ask her? If she isn't HIV positive? If she is or isn't, his prisoner? Um, I don't know what he, what he asked her. But from what I understood, the, the other one is, the one Carla brought in was, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that came from, unless it was in the drive. But I don't. I don't. Listening to what happened on the radio, that didn't happen mm-hmm. on the drive in. Yeah. Um, and then why do we book them together anyway? If she was self-proclaimed, why do they get booked together? Yeah. And just and then just and you know, and it's it's serious stuff. But I'm just with the appetite the way it is these days. Yeah. How would, you, uh, how would you suggest I reword it then? Uh, I, I just don't know. I mean, you're right, like... A, I mean, I don't think members should be down laughing and Googling over that, which is probably what, what happened. But they... It's it's just somewhere along the line, the ball was dropped with this HIV positive. The guard could have said, hey, she... I mean, that's exactly where it should have. Right there, if nobody gets booked in with her. Yeah, it's, it's going to be lost. I mean, it's not going to be lost, but it's going to be, it's going to be, and how do we know that Steve's wasn't? Yeah. They're both high risk. And you know, how do we know they're telling us the truth? And they're not obligated to tell us? Yeah. And they're in there having consensual, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. oh, absolutely. relations. I mean, and I'm talking to drunk tanks full of those people every week mm-hmm. mixed together. Yeah. Oh, there's no doubt that there's infectious mix with. Uh, uh, I mean, Elliot, I don't tell you how to handle it, Kelly, but I mean, I mean, we need to definitely clarify. Yeah. The allocation of cells to self-proclaimed or known mm-hmm. uh, infectious people. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I th- I really think this other girl has to be notified. If you know, this is this is what we have. I think we'd be completely negligent to to do nothing. That's my thought. Yeah, and then I don't know who the girl is. Yeah, she's um, she's on our system, but she's mainly a uh, complainant. Um, you know, clearance, security clearance check, stuff like that. And how do we confirm the other way? She says she is. Then what? Then where's her obligation? And then here comes a lawsuit when she says. Yeah. You know, why were they in there with her? Yeah. When you knew, but we don't even know if we, how we found out we knew. Yeah, yep. 
Well, like I said, I just, I just had a member tell me she was HIV positive, self-proclaimed. I don't know where that came from because it never happened in cells. Well, I guess he'll have to answer for that when he is asked. Well, it's Carla's prisoner, right? Mm-hmm, uh yeah. -huh. And then Steve, is, is she... I don't know what Steve's involvement was. Well, with his own prisoner. I, I don't even know. Oh, Leadbeater. Sorry, I thought you were talking. Uh, or was it, I don't know who's prisoner or who, yeah, who the other. Yeah, Leadbeater. It was a, uh, just a dip at a party. She There was a dispute there, and we told her to leave. She came back, and she was arrested. Yeah, but is she? What, HIV? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I yeah. don't know. So as, you know, if, as, it, as it plays out, there's going to be chopping blocks for sure. So. Well, hopefully not chopping blocks. Let me see how I can reward this. Stay, stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.